What we'd like to talk about now is the what question, the how question, the who question, and the why question. What, what is world spirituality? How, how do we realize this vision of world spirituality? Who, who does world spirituality address and make a difference to? And why, why is world spirituality so essential today and so possible today? Why is there a possibility of world spirituality today that never existed in the last 2000 years? Why as in why now? Again, what, what is world spirituality and what is the core constituent of world spirituality? What's the essential nature of the core building block of world spirituality, which is the democratization of enlightenment based on what I'm calling unique self-consciousness. So those three words, there's three terms that I've introduced that work with each other. World spirituality, democratization of enlightenment, unique self. So each of those three terms, by each of the, those three terms, I intend something specific and what that is and how they work together, that's the what question. Then the how question is, well, how do I realize it? So how do I realize the democratization of enlightenment? And how does that happen? The very practical how question. What are the practices? Three, who, who is invited to the democratization of enlightenment? Who's affected by it? And of course, why? Why is it a possibility today? Why is world spirituality and democratization of enlightenment a genuine option today in a way that it wasn't in the past? So that's what we want to address right, in this conversation, which is, and I, again, I want to thank you again for the invitation, which is just a groundbreaking, momentous leap conversation, which is about our unique participation today in the evolution of consciousness. What's possible today? What we need to download into the source code today that changes our essential understanding right, of the nature of the individual and the nature of the we. Okay, so here we go.